You might have seen a house fly, maybe even a super fly, but I bet you ain't never seen a Steven fly. Written and storyboarded by one person. Uh-oh. We're finally home! Yep, weird-looking eyes. That about checks out. Hello, bed! What the fuck was that about? Pearl clearly must be losing every ounce of her sanity according to this shot. Did that cake go bad? That was a cake? The big donut is closed! Did you not check the time before walking outside? There's gotta be at least one in here. The problem isn't the lack of donuts in the store. The problem is you being unable to get to said donuts. Why not just have Steven say something like, you gotta let me have at least one. I'm just starving. I think fish pizza is still open. I don't know if I'm hungry enough for a meal. But you're starving? No, I'm dying. <laughs> I could even learn how to lie. Was that close-up really necessary? It's great to be back! You know, I'm noticing a trend here. I get that Steven is slowly getting more used to his gem and is having more and more of his powers unlocked as time goes on, but it seems like they're always introduced or messed with after some big event so that the Crooniverse doesn't have to write around it. After Ocean Gem, Steven arbitrarily loses his healing powers in a way that doesn't make sense. After the return and jailbreak, Steven starts to get the hang of his shield and bubble and uses them more often. And now after the whole drill fiasco, he suddenly gets the power to jump really high and float. The only real place I've seen a newly introduced power get some use in a big situation is Steven healing Lapis's gem. And even after that, the Crooniverse practically disables it for a season and a half. Why? I wish we'd see these powers earlier. Or at least have them built up to in some way so that scenes like this don't completely come out of nowhere. First of all, where the hell is the lighthouse in this shot? Secondly, Steven jumps straight up from the lighthouse here, so how did he get all the way to over the ocean? The following shots don't signify at all that he jumped at an angle or that the wind carried him, so what happened? Steven just stops descending altogether in this shot, which must mean the situation has somehow made him so happy that the descent is slow to a stop. Can Steven fly? Yeah, I think I remember that. No, no, I'm thinking of Lapis! How do you even begin to confuse those two with each other? Look, I get it, it's meant to be a joke, and I'm probably reading too far into it. But there's making a joke that Amethyst would naturally make, and then there's making Amethyst seem downright stupid just for the sake of a joke. And the latter is really bad writing, in my opinion. I'll catch you, Steven! I think it's gonna be oh. a while. Oh. I found a phone. Whose is it? That's not important. Can I just say that the gems absolutely make the comedic aspect of this episode? The animation and voice acting of the gems completely nail it. At the rate that he's descending, Steven should have hit the ground by now, right? Or at the very least, he should be close enough to the point where he doesn't need the phone to communicate because it's been literal hours. There's no time to explain! It would take five seconds at the most. Is there anything else you can put on me? Just this alarm clock. That is such a contrived way to show him the time. Firstly, you already have the alarm clock on you, so it's technically already a part of what's weighing him down. Secondly, don't the pizzas have a car you can grab and use? I'm sure there's heavier stuff if you look around. Thirdly, that alarm clock is so tiny that it would barely make a difference anyway. And fourthly, how did 30 minutes pass when all the gems did was grab a few items? What, did they try for that long before they realized this wouldn't work. What the fuck is wrong with these people's eyes in this shot? Alas, poor Steven. Why do they have Sadie's voice say this line when for everybody else they just had Steven say their lines? I assume it's a budget thing so that they didn't have to pay the other voice actors for just one line, but it's still a little jarring. I dropped my phone! When the fuck did that happen? Seriously, it never shows him dropping it. That's plot convenience at its finest. My floating power's tied to my emotions! Bullshit. You cannot possibly tell me that not only was Steven happy the entire night, but the whole time he was panicking about not being able to make it to the Big Donut, he was also happy. There's a lot of things I can suspend my disbelief about in this show, but that is not one of them. Mom? Oh jeez, those feelings are complicated. He's used the memories of happy and sad things to land safely behind us, ready to give us a hug. <laughs> I could even learn how to love. Okay, okay, but in all seriousness, 
He's dead, right? It looked like he was moving at the same velocity as when he was upset, and considering that he didn't die, does that mean this whole segment didn't have any tension at all? And actually, now that I think about it, those happy thoughts didn't slow his velocity at all either. So either Steven seriously values him being first to try a donut over his family, or Steven's powers are bullshit. Or it could be both, I guess. Steven has his flip-flops on in this shot when he threw them down earlier. I also highly doubt that he'd take the time to find them and put them on before running to hug the gems. So yeah, it's an animation error. Okay. I would have liked a hug. I thought I was late. Late? We always open at 7.30 on Sundays. How convenient. I would call contrivance, but honestly, this is such a small plot point and the conclusion is nice enough to where I'm not going to question it too much. Still worth a sin though. My Also, oh bother is a very random line to end the episode with.